Hey guys, so today I thought we'd do something fun. I have the DOD graphic equalizer EQ660. But the, something stands out in this unit, I'm sure you can tell right away, that our circuit has 602D on it. And also in the pamphlet that came with the unit, the warranty card and the explanation here, you can see the DOD graphic equalizer EQ602. So I spent some time trying to find some information on the 602 and there's not really that much available online. And some versions of the 660 you can find on Reverb, for example, have the 660 circuit. So I thought what we would do is go ahead and make a schematic out of this. The one thing though is if we want to look on the component side, then we'll have to desolder the circuit from the sliding potentiometers. So it looks like they are, oops, looks like they are stuck here. It looks like glued on the bottom and it's, it would just be easier for us to go ahead and desolder these. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to take a look at the component side. Okay, there we go, guys. Component side. It's like four TL022CP op amps. Let's see, one electrolytic 47UF, 16 volt. Several mylar, 502, 502, 502, 502. Same there. Here we have 563, both of these. Here we have 473 on this side. So I think what I'll do now is go ahead and make the schematic out of this and I will show that next. I thought I'd show here, as you can see, we have the sliding potentiometers. Looks to be, I'm guessing they're all from 1979, 137. So we have C, I believe that's CTS, Mexico. Actually, maybe, I'm, let's see what that says there, 6858. So maybe it's 1979, 31st week. Uh, as for the number there, I'm not sure, but hmm, interesting. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys that. So there are nice sliding potentiometers used in this. Hey guys, so as you can see here, if you take a look at the multimeter, <clears throat> that if we check the resistance Check that out, 73.4K. If we check out the total resistance of each sliding potentiometer, see that, 121.3. They're each different. 76K. 98. Eighty three and seventy six. So, what I'm going to do is wasn't quite sure from a quick search on the number there, the QR sixty eight fifty eight. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but for now, I'm just going to write the 
resistance values that I got when using the multimeter and then try to figure out specifically which potentiometer or the original value of the potentiometer because there's probably a tolerance as well could be 10% 20% I'm not sure so just keeping that in mind we'll try to figure out what these potentiometers are okay guys so I've completed the schematic and there are a few things I want to discuss about it so first off for example you'll notice that there's an identifier here P1 used throughout the schematic so that refers to as you can see here this path where I'm assuming so the orientation of the potentiometers like for example that this one closest to the second is one and this one over here is three so I'm assuming that for the schematic and if it's backwards and this is three and this is one uh, yeah just try to remember that the schematic was written with the orientation of one being closer and three being further away so p1 refers to this path as you can see they're all on the same path for the pin one for all six potentiometers so there's that so i have that there they're all connected and you'll also notice that there's a decimal identifier so p 1.3 we have p 5.3 so that refers to, if you're looking at the potentiometers here, so this is potentiometer one, three, five, six, and 1.3 refers to potentiometer one, pin number three. So that would refer to this right here. So we also have, let's see in this case, for example, that the first half of the TL022CP so this one is 3A, so referring to right here. So this is from left to right in this orientation. This would be like 1. So we have 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B. So here, 3A, and we can see that pin number 3, oops, right here. So pin number 3 on the first half, so right here, is connecting to the fifth pin, so right here. So that seems to be the case for all of the uh, the op amps, at least these three right here. So pin three will connect to pin five for all of them, and they're all connected together. So you'll get continuity on pin five here, for example, with you know pin three over here. So there's that as well. I have the resistance values for the potentiometers here down below. So again, I don't know if these were originally, you know, 100K, 90K, whatnot, but I'm assuming, and I could be wrong, but I'm assuming that they are 100K with upwards of a 30% tolerance. I'm not sure. It's just a guess because we have the highest at 121.7K and the lowest at 73.7K. And they all have the same number, QR6858. So anything else to mention here? So here, like we have P1.2, 2.2, 3.2, 4.2, 5.2, 6.2. So that is the pin two here. No, oh, I'm sorry, right here. So pin two here. For each of the potentiometers, they all have a, as you can see here, a 4.7K resistor connected to them. And they all go to this path below, which, let's see here, what, where do we specify for that path? Oh, we didn't, okay, I see. So, Okay, um, so anything else to mention? So here, for example, like the negative from the nine volt goes to the pin four of all the ICs. And then our positive nine volt 
first has a hundred ohm resistor and then that connects to all of the VCC, so pin eight of each of the TL022CPs. And here we have, it's kind of hard to read. Oh, I see we have a 22K going to 2B5. So that would be like the second half here at the fifth pin. So you can see the 22K right here going to the lower portion of this TL022CP, which is the fifth pin. So we have that anything else to mention to you guys? Oh yeah. So around here, so in the second half of, yeah, we can see a resistor right here. So it looks like it's brown, gray, yellow. So I'm assuming it's 180K. I did test with the multimeter, but because it's in circuit, I'm not getting the right value. So I didn't bother desoldering it just to kind of get a schematic out there for you guys as quickly as possible. So I may look into that later, but for now, I'm just gonna set that aside. So for the time being, yeah, that should be pretty much everything. So I'm going to have a link in the description with this. I'll try to get some close up shots of it as well. And I'll also have the component side, some photos of that, and then also the uh, the trace side as well, just in case you know you guys notice anything on the schematic. Uh, you know, I just only cooked this up in you know a few hours, so there could be could be something you notice. If so, just please let me know, and yeah, we'll get it updated. So as always, guys, take care, happy building, have fun, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.